Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Setio Irshad. I am here joined with my two friends, Raihan Zamzam and Tabasum Kajlima. We are from the Google Chrome group and we are here to present our tutorials. For the first tutorial, the first competence, uh, Google Autofill. I will explain what Google Autofill is and how do you use it. So Google Autofill is a way to save your account information. So when you uh, log in to a website, you can then uh, save the information. And the next time you go to that website again, Google will autofill your account information. So you don't have to type it in manually. Now I will uh, demonstrate to you how to use uh, Google Autofill. So we need to log into a website first. So we will use my ITAS classroom as an example. So we log in using our account. Okay, we are now inside my test classroom. And as you can see, Google will offer to save password. So we, know, so we want to save this. And when we close my test classroom and we go back, Google will automatically log us in with our account. But if you do not like this feature and you maybe want to remove it, you can go to Google menus and you can go to the settings and then click uh, below you and Google, there is autofill and you can manage your passwords. And then when you scroll down, uh, you can see my ITS and there is an option to remove the password. So when you next uh, log into my ETS uh, classroom, uh, you won't be automatically logged on to your account. Autofill also works for payment methods and address when you maybe use uh, online shops and uh, Google Maps. It works the exact same way as the passwords. So that's it from the Google Autofill uh, competence. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. My name is Tabasum Kajlima Shafrin. My NRP is 5026211193. And I'm from Information System Department, IS Concept Class Key. And I'm also from Google Chrome Teams. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a bookmark in the bar. But before we start it, I'm going to tell you guys about what is bookmarks. Bookmarks are links to websites that are stored in the browser you are using. You can access the website repeatedly by clicking on the bookmark. No need to type the website URL anymore. By default, bookmarks are represented by a fav icon, favorite icon, and a short description of the website. Bookmarks are very helpful when you frequently visit the website page but have forgotten the URL. Here is how to create or add a bookmark in the Google Chrome browser. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is you need to open up the Google Chrome and then open up the website that you frequently visit and type the URL. For today's example, I'm going to use my ETS classroom for an example.
after you finish type the URL, you just need to press enter. After that, click the bookmark icon on the right upper side. You can see the white star icon. And then you need to click add bookmark. And then you need to click done. As you can see, the bookmark website portal of my ETS classroom is added to the bookmark bar. But we need to taste it first. Is it still available if we close the tab and open up the Google Chrome again? We need to find out. And yeah, it's still available even after you close it and open up the Google Chrome again. So that is how to make a bookmark in the bar. So you have successfully making bookmark in the bar. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. My name is Rayhan Zamzam Fadila. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Mendeley add-on extension on Chrome to get the citation from a journal or any website as a reference. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install the Mendeley add-on. We have to type Mendeley web order. And you can click from the website, it is safe. So get web importer for Chrome and wait for a second. Get to Chrome and add the extension. So as you see, it has been added to the Chrome. So let's just close it. And we need to find the references. And uh, for this instance, I will use the Google Scholar. I will try to search for like the sciences references on the Google Scholar. And just click on the reference that we wanted. And we have seen the, the file of the reference. So what we can do is click on the extension, click on the Mendeley web importer, and wait until we sign in to the Mendeley Web Reporter. So as you see, we have signed into the Men our Mendeley account. So we need to check the data science in action and add to my library like this. It will automatically add it to your library. So what we have to do next is to open the Word. So maybe I would like to use the Microsoft Word. Just open a document. And to insert the citation, we have to open the word and click on the references. And we need to insert the citation. Wait for a second until the Mendeley shows up. Okay, we have we need to go to Mendeley and we choose our files that we use for our references. Uh, as you can see, we have chosen the data science in action reference. So right click on this file, copy as formatted citation. And all we need to do is just copy paste it, paste it on the document. 
and we have our reference on the Microsoft Word. And of course, we have we can change the format of the citation, like the Harvard style or the IEEE or any any else of citation in the Mendeley application. So that's it for my tutorial for Mendeley Web Importer on Chrome. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.